being in America. I was like, I just want to be in Africa, waking up early, sitting on the porch, listening to the birds, <laughs> listening to the roosters and the cats fighting. Ooh. Child, when you and that rat race over there, you start to appreciate the simple life. and love wonderful people welcome welcome to my channel rooted in royalty it is Aisha Diamond so I am blessed thankful and grateful to be back in the motherland again I remember I try my best to live life simple alhamdulillah I'm doing pretty good this season because <laughs> some season I'd be like living life simple and life be hell honey but this season, alhamdulillah, I'm doing pretty well. It's been a week now since I've been back in the motherland. Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful for that. And um, I'm just taking note of everything. And, I've, and I'm just looking. And I see so many women walking by themselves, like I do when I'm here. I'm like, I'm trying to be safe, but I got to move. I got to go. And I'm just looking, women. At first, it's like I see more women than men walking by themselves. So, please don't believe the narrative, honey. Gambia is a safe country, no matter what. Gambia is in this world, so therefore it's not perfect. It's a part of this world, therefore it's not perfect, but it is an overall safe country. Um, some sister going to come up on my um, Instagram and want to check me for being in the Gambia and she wants to try to be funny um, talking about the honey anyway I'm not going to even say what she said I did respond back but I respond back with a little sense <laughs> I'm like sister because it's the Ramadan that's the only reason I'm not going to light you up <laughs> and then I thought about it you all I was like Wait, wait a minute. Even if it wasn't a Ramadan, uh, I'm a Muslim now, so I have to carry myself a certain way. Pray for me as I pray for myself. Because <laughs> I wanted to let her have it. But you know, my preacher, Mufti Mint, he is so encouraging. And a lot of times when I face situations, I think about him and how he handles situations. How when people always come into negative about um him and just try to make up stuff and always have something to say he handled it with such dignity and that's what i want to get i really want to get there i'm gonna get there inshallah <laughs> no it is the lord's will for me to get there i'm gonna get there but yeah so sometimes when i get upset at what people say or whatever i think about him and i was like okay i can do this i can do this because where I come from, it's not easy to just not say nothing. Just, just be quiet. You ain't have to say. You don't have to say nothing on everything. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So first, I was like, I, I'm not doing the uh, Ramadan in Africa. When I get to Africa, I want to be able to have energy, move around, you know, get things done. That's what I thought. But Almighty Allah said differently. And what he says and big plans for us is always perfect. So I'm so happy to be here doing the month of the Ramadan. Yes, yeah, so this is my first time getting up early. When I got back, I just struggled and struggled um, because I would stay up all night and sleep all day. So by the time I get up, it's not a whole lot of time to move around, do things. 
but I'm up today. So I said, let me get up, get to moving, um, just get out there on a put for a minute and do what I was dreaming to do. So I'm here, alhamdulillah. So happy, so grateful. I just been um, just full of gratitude and full of joy, full of peace. Yesterday I was like, just so peaceful. I've been resting, resting, and resting again. Just rejuvenating. When I got back, I, it was it was uh, weird because I automatically felt my body switching for the better. I'm talking about soon I started eating the food. My digestive system moving, moving. Um eating fruits and real food <laughs> drinking plenty of water it's like i'm just coming alive i'm able to sleep 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 definitely taking advantage of that and now everything is lining up already i've been here for one week and weight is slowly coming off drop on off got to melt it on off baby one thing i found out we have to um, definitely fight to keep our spirits in order and um, have a prayer life but we have to make sure we keep these earthly temples in order as well sometimes we we want to focus more on the spiritual man which is most important uh, eternity that will be beneficial throughout eternity but we have to focus on these natural bodies as well we have to get it together on it so I'm so happy um, to be back over here with real food. Oh. Oh. <laughs> at first it was like, when I get to um, America, at first, a uh, year or so ago, um, I'm like, I lose weight. And then when I get to Africa, I gain weight because I get to Africa and I get to eating real good because <laughs> I love the food. Then when I get to America, I was fighting because... I, will, um, I didn't like the food, so it was easy, you know, to lose weight because I have to make sure I come off meats and this and that. But this go around past, I was there too long, and my life had got even busier. I was always busy, but my life got even busier, and I got off track. Too much of this, too much sugar, too much, you know, in on and off meat, but I don't do red meat, period. On and off, you know, chicken and certain fish or whatever. I was like, uh-uh, this is too much. And um, they just passed a law over there that restaurants can now serve cloned meat, which is fake meat. Yeah. Your, rest of your local restaurants in America can now sell fake meat, which I thought they was doing it anyway. But anyway, so now when I go that way, it's going to be totally off meat. Maybe fish, depending on where is it or eat it from or you know purchase it from maybe but anything else mm -mm. even after the ramadan i'm going to have to dive in and take advantage of the six days after ramadan fast i'm gonna do that i finished the fasting i'm going to um get make sure i get on track again with the health and fitness it's always a struggle always a fight and we have to definitely be mindful and work towards it because if we don't it will not happen um you all so i'm sitting out here on the porch enjoying and anyway you all back in africa one week now and it's lovely it's um it's a blessing anyway this is my life this is my story so you all continue to follow me like and subscribe because greater things greater things are coming we all have different paths. We all have different journeys to walk in life. And it is up to us to tune in with the creator to find out exactly how we need to walk our path and our journey. Which way we need to go. Because he knows. So you can't go wrong when you connect with him. Give him your heart, your mind, your, your everything. And become men and women of prayer. Yeah, that's the key to a successful life in this life and a successful life to come yes so all is well we're gonna keep it moving and for the naysayers child <laughs> you
you just keep watching this movie. Because we're going to keep it moving with or without you. Peace and blessings, you all.